Hey, it's Ian Altman. I was at an event recently and someone recognized me and came up and said, hey, do you mind? I have a question about an issue I'm facing with a potential client. I said, sure, of course, tell me what's going on. And she said, well, so when I meet with these potential clients, I ask them what's their budget. And they say to me, well, we don't really have a budget. And then I tell them, well, here's what I'm going to charge to help you. And they say, oh, that's too much. So obviously they had a budget, so what's going on? Well, when you ask somebody for their budget and they don't give you a complete answer, one of two things is going on. Either you haven't built enough trust yet for them to feel comfortable sharing their budget with you, or they just don't know enough yet and they don't understand your business well enough to know what it should cost, so they haven't really figured out what the budget is. Imagine if you were having a renovation done in your home and you had three contractors scheduled to come to your home, and the first one shows up, you haven't met them before, you don't know them, and they walk in the door and said, what's your budget? Are you likely to give them your honest budget? Probably not. So instead of focusing on budget, which is a question we've all been trained to ask people, instead what we wanna ask is, so what's the issue you were trying to solve that sparked you to reach out to us? So now we get to find out what the issue is they're trying to solve. Then we get to ask them, well, so what happens if you don't solve that? And if we're successful helping you, what are the results or outcomes that you might be able to achieve? Now, these shouldn't be rapid fire questions, but through a discussion, we wanna uncover those pieces of information. And what that does, that gives us information so that both we and the client can understand what this potential solution is actually worth compared to what it's costing them by not solving the problem and what the results could be. Another approach that you can take is this idea of giving them multiple ranges. So you might say, for example, gee, when we work with our clients, they're usually looking for a solution at one of three levels. At the base level, they come to us for a solution where we handle X and Y for them, and that's usually about four to $5,000 per month. At the next level, they want us to handle X and Y and also A and B. And in those cases, they're usually spending between $8,000 and $10,000 per month. Now, at the highest level is organizations who are looking to accomplish X and Y and A and B, but also these three other things. And they'll invest more like $15,000 a month, but obviously they're getting those additional things that make it worthwhile. Which level are you looking for? So instead of asking about budget, try and learn more about their situation so together you can find out what the solution is worth and they feel educated as a customer. If you have more questions, drop me a note to ian at ianaltman.com.